today on this Feast of Pentecost, we are reminded that the Spirit of God is closer to us than our breath and our pulse. That God is always with us and we are never alone. This feast is special in the sense that it ends the journey of that we began at Lent 90 days ago during 40 days of the Lenten journey of being on retreat with God, listening and learning what it means to be a disciple, and then 50 days of Easter feasting. And yet the irony is that on Easter Sunday, the disciples were locked in a room because they were afraid, and Jesus appeared to them and said, Peace be with you. And here we are 50 days later, We listen to John's gospel, the continuation of John's gospel of chapter 20, where again, the disciples are locked in, in a room. They're behind locked doors and they're afraid. And Jesus appears to them and says, peace be with you. This peace that we listen to on Easter Sunday It's still there. They're still afraid. And what I love about this gospel is that these disciples are human, that fear is part of our journey. And what happens is Jesus reminds them that God is with us and breathing upon us. God's spirit gives us courage to move beyond our fear and to preach the good news of love. John's gospel very similar to the beginning of the Easter season. In John chapter 20, the disciples had locked the doors in their place because they were afraid. And Jesus came and stood before them and said, Peace be with you, and showed them his hands and his side. And at the sight of the Lord, the disciples rejoiced and said, and they and Jesus said again, Peace be with you. As I am sent so I send you. And then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive, others are forgiven. And if you hold them bound, they are held bound. A simple message of love, of courage, and of forgiveness. Forgiveness sets free Holding bounds, bound, you know, it's like you keep is withheld, withheld bound. And here we are again, Jesus showing them his hands and his side. The wounds that are there are saying, I understand, I'm with you. I have compassion in your journey. We are never alone, that God is with us. The bottom line, I believe, about this Pentecost is that the disciples find courage to go beyond those locked doors and love others without expectation, setting free and continuing that journey. It's not this like the the spirit's done, they're one and done. It's like the next day they kind of have to walk through that door beyond their fears and have courage to preach the good news and to forgive one another and love and learn and be set free and to continue that journey throughout their lives. And Jesus promising the Spirit of God to be with them and to give them that courage of love. A love with no strings attached. A love that reminds them that God is with them in the journey. So this week, take a moment of how this time of Lent and Easter and this time of receiving the spirit of courage has changed us over these past 90 days. How has the spirit of God empowered us to move beyond our fear, to act with courage and love, to step beyond the locked doors that we may have and have courage to love other people. 
How are we called to love beyond our borders with no expectation to love and forgive and to set free and to keep preaching the good news that God is with us and that the sign of that love is peace, peace within our hearts and the peace we give to one another. God is with us. We are never alone, closer than our pulse and our breath. Let that spirit of God breathe upon us and let us offer that peace for one another. Peace be with you. Amen.